Job trend notifications can be sent to your internal users as well as your external users, such as your customers or your vendors. You can set up default notification preferences for each of your roles here in the Notifications tab. On the left, you'll see a list of standard notifications and you can expand each type to select one. Now you can select who from your company will be receiving the notifications by reviewing the internal and external roles. First, select which notifications they will receive in the JobTread app, and those will appear in the Notification Center on the top right. You can also choose if you want your users to receive an email notification, as well as a push notification for each of these types. If you do, choose for them to receive a push notification. Each of the users will need to enable their push notifications in their JobTread profile. Now, when you set up these default notification preferences, your users can choose to stick with those defaults or further customize their notification preferences in their profile. This is also where they will enable those push notifications in each of their devices. Now, if you'd like to create more specific notifications or reminders, you can create custom notifications at the bottom of your notifications tab. We have created a couple for you, and you can also create your own by clicking on the New option. Let's create one together. Maybe I want a notification triggered to send to my project manager whenever the proposal is signed so we can enter the scheduling phase. First, let's add a name for the notification. This one will be, the job is ready for scheduling. Next, you can add a message that will accompany the notification. So let's just say, Mm, the job is now in your hands. Happy scheduling. Then I can choose the type of notification. This is an event type, which means that the notification will be triggered by some sort of action or event that takes place in the system. My event type or the trigger will be based on when the proposal status is updated, so I can select document updated. Next, I'll add filters to further specify what that change will be and will cause that trigger or the notification. So I'll need two filters on this one. The first one will be identifying the specific document. So the document name in this case is proposal. Perfect. Next, we'll need to indicate what change we are looking for. So we'll add another filter by clicking and and then the document status is submitted, approved, or paid. Great. This means that when a proposal is approved, the project manager will receive a notification that the job is ready for scheduling. So now we have to choose the role that I'd like to send the notification to. This will be an internal role, and I'm going to choose my project manager to receive all the notifications that apply to these rules. Now, they will still be limited to the jobs that the project manager has access to. Now, I'd like them to receive an email notification, maybe, as well as a push notification if they've enabled those. Great, let's click Create. The other type of notification is a reminder. This will be set up similar to what we just did. However, you will choose when you'd like the notification sent in relation to the trigger. This could be used for reminders to my customers or vendors about documents, maybe that they're about to expire. Or also, I could send these to my internal team members when they have tasks assigned to them. So if you have any questions with setting up your notification preferences, please contact your customer success manager or email support at jobtread.com and we'll be sure to help.